Hey everyone, welcome to Enjoy English School. I'm Chris Gorski. I'm Anthony. And today we have a very special story: cockroaches to the rescue. 没错，我们今天讲的主题实在是太太奇妙了。OK， 哈，我跟 Chris 老师两个人对于蟑螂，不是说到怕，但是哦、oh, ，they are kind of gross，、yeah. 感觉好恶心哦，对不对？我们今天讲的主题呢是蟑螂，可是哎，别走，别走，好，不要先别急，因为我们今天讲的这个主题，蟑螂呢，它是 cockroaches to the rescue， 是来帮助我们的。蟑螂呢可以变成救星，来帮我们解决问题的，这真的很特别。Wait, Anthony,、嗯、is cockroaches to the rescue the next Marvel movie? Oh, I think it's probably the next one. We have the Avengers, we have Spider-Man. Next time, the rescue animals. I hope not. Yeah, right. Okay, let's start with the main topic of today. Cockroaches to the rescue. 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 And seventeen in our magazine. You need your pencil, your pen, and your highlighter. Get them ready. 好，我们同学，我们要今天要看的是九月六号的文章，请各位翻到这个杂志的第十六跟第十七页。我们来赶快看看今天的内容吧。All right. Before we look at paragraph one, we should also talk about passive voice because we have six passive voice、uh, phrases today. 嗯，我们今天呢，哦，要特别在讲这个文章之前，要先跟各位提一下被动语态 （passive voice）。被动语态，因为在文章的后面呢，你会看到第一段、第二段、第三段，全部一共有六个被动语态哦。So the first way to use the passive voice is when we don't know who does an action. 嗯，在使用被动语态呢，有几种情况。第一种情况就是我们不知道到底是谁做这个动作的时候，我们就可以使用被动语态。Number two, we don't care who does an action. 或者是呢，第二种情况是我们根本不在乎是谁做了这件事情。So my car was made in Japan. Who did it? I don't know. I don't care. 嗯，比方说今天我的车呢是日本制造的，是谁制造的呢？好，我不知道，我也不想知道。And number three, the object. Is more important than the subject. 没错，或者是有的时候受词呢比主词要重要的时候呢，我们会把受词放在这个最前面的位置。那他说这个东西被怎么样了？我们去强化对这个东西的一个认知跟描述。All right, let's look at sentence one here. Did you know that about one third of all food is thrown away? OK， 所以第一句话我们来看到第一段这个地方，他说 ，Did you know that？ 好，这边要特别注意一下，当你说 Did you know that 的时候，代表说话的人知道这个事实，后面要讲的事实。如果说今天你说 Do you know that 的话，可能是我不晓得，所以我要问你。但是如果你说 Did you know that？ 比方说，我当我问你说 Did you know that？ 呃，这个 Chris is a superhero。那代表我知道他是超能英雄，但你不晓得。然后呢，我会用 Did you know that 来表达我告诉你哦，他其实是这个我知道，你知道吗？好，这种感觉。所以在这边第一句话说 Did you know that about one third of all food is thrown away？ 你知道我们食物的总量有三分之一是被直接丢掉，变成这种呃食物的浪费吗？这件事情是作者知道了，但他只是问你，你知不知道？这时候他就用 Did you know that underline。Is thrown because that's our first passive voice, be verb plus a past participle. 嗯，没错。所以在这里的话，我们就碰到了第一个这个被动语态了。第一个部分呢，被动语态就是 be 动词加上一个过去分词，对不对？所以你在这个地方看到 all food is thrown away is be 动词 thrown， 这个是被动这个过去分词嘛？整个在一起的时候，就是我们碰到的第一个被动语态。In China, much of the food waste is sent to landfills, but these garbage dumps are filling up fast. Okay, 再我们看第二句话了 In China, 在中国呢 much of the food waste. 常常你会看到 food waste， 好，这个时候呢，它指的意思就是食物的浪费。OK， 大部分被浪费的食物啦、厨余啦等等 ，is sent to landfills。landfills 指的是垃圾掩埋场。注意这个字哦，这个字的话 ，landfill 也可以当做不可数的用法，代表是垃圾掩埋场的那些地方的垃圾。
，OK， 所以有的时候你会看到 landfill 当做是垃圾的意思，有的时候是指放垃圾的这些垃圾掩埋场。But these garbage dumps， 好，这些丢垃圾的地方呢 ，are filling up fast， 可是很快的这些丢垃圾的掩埋场呢，就整个上堆满了许多垃圾，可见这个 food food waste 问题真的很严重。Underline is sent because that's our second passive voice. 没错，这个时候你就拿起你的笔，对不对？赶快去画个底线，画哪里呢 ？The food waste is sent. 这边的 be 动词 is 加上 sent 过去分词，这是我们碰到的第二个被动语态喽。Also, circle landfills and garbage dumps because they're both the same thing. 嗯，没错。除了这个之外呢，你也可以顺便把两个字圈出来。一个呢就是 landfills， 第二个呢就是后面的部分 these garbage dumps。好，这两个字呢其实基本上是同义词，都是指我们丢垃圾的垃圾掩埋场。Thankfully, a little insect may be the answer to this big problem. 好，接下来接下我们看第三句话，还是说了 thankfully， 哎，好家在，好幸亏啊，怎么样呢 ？A little insect. 好 ，insect 当然指的是昆虫，一个小小的昆虫呢 ，may be the end answer to this big problem。我们常常会看到说，问题解决的办法或是问题的解答等等，都可以说 the answer 什么的 problem to the problem。在这里的话，我特别记得呃这个 preposition 介词的话，我们会说 the answer to the problem， the solution to the problem。很多时候都会使用到这些字词，然后搭配 to。这个 solution 帮到各位拼一下好了。好 ，solution 的拼法是 s o l u t i o n。Solution 指的是解决办法的意思。好，在这里的话，不管是 answer 也好 ，solution 也好，都会搭配 to 这个介系词 to the problem。嗨，大家好，又到了我们今天 Tips in Use 的单元了。我们今天要介绍主题呢，是到底几分之几？英文到底要怎么表达？在文章中呢，我们提到说三分之一的食物被浪费掉，对不对？三分之一的话，英文你会看到 one third， 然后中间呢用一个 hyphen 连字号连接起来。所以，我们来观察这个东西呢，就可以知道说，哦，在这个几分之几呢，我们有分分母跟分子嘛，对不对？三分之一它用的是 one third。OK， 前面的部分在连字号前面的部分呢是它的分子，好三分之一，所以我们用 one， 所以分子的部分呢，你都是用 one two three 这种基数。那如果说后面 one third， 你有注意到 third 嘛？所以说呢，在 third 这个地方，你会知道它是什么 first、second、third、fourth、fifth 这种说法。所以你要去记的话，非常非常简单，就是分母的话呢，我们用的是那个 first、second、third， 通常是 third 以后啦。好 ，third、fourth、fifth。那分子的部分也是前面的部分呢，我们用 one、two、three。我们来直接看实际的例子就更加清楚了。所以说今天呢，如果你要讲说三分之一是 one third， 三分之二呢，啊，特别注意要是 two thirds。哎，你说，哎，为什么后面变 thirds？ 原因是因为只要分子超过一以上的话，我们分母的部分要加上 s， 这样清楚吗？好，所以来我们看实际例子就更加清楚了。比方看第一句话，他说：地球表面有三分之二是被水所覆盖的。这时候英文就可以讲，先讲三分之二，分子是吧？二，所以我们用 two， 对不对？那分子那个分母的部分呢？什么什么 first second third， 所以我们用成了 two third， 对不对？不行哦，分子超过一嘛，所以后面要讲 thirds， OK？ 所以你看到这句话 two thirds of the earth is covered by water， 所以在这里的话，我们就先记得三分之一 one third， 三分之二 two thirds， 三分之一 one third， 三分之二。Two thirds. 好，有这个感觉了之后就比较好记了。咱们看第二句话，他说了，我们班上五分之三的学生都戴眼镜。来想想看，五分之三分分子的部分是三嘛 ？Three， 没问题。One, two, three. 分母的部分呢？分母部分不是什么 third, fourth, fifth， 对不对？那五分之三，三有没有超过一？有，所以 fifth 的后面要加 s。所以你看到 three fifth of the students in my class wear glasses. 好，这样就很简单了。那你会想说，老师，那分分母的部分，我们只用了三啊、四啊、五啊，那一跟二，如果是二呢？二可以用吧？二的话，你们要想一下，既然二分之一的话就是一半，所以提到一半的时候，往往我们会使用 a half 或是 one half 来表示，就不会用这种形态。我们看到这个形态来表达了。所以我们在第三个例子里面就看到了，他说的是
朱莉的奶奶由于那次事故的关系的缘故呢，她只能移动半边的身体。好，这时候你可以讲说 ，As a result of the accident, Judy's grandmother can only move one half of her body. 所以在这里的话，你会提到 one half， 不会说几分之几、三分之二的身体啊，比较不会这样讲。对，一半的身体的话，就讲 one half 就可以来表达了。Okay, let's take a look at paragraph two. Several companies have started feeding leftovers to cockroaches. Okay, now students, above started feeding, please write to feed because we can also say started to feed. Also, circle the s in leftovers because leftovers is always plural. 嗯，没错，接下来这两个重点很重要哦。在第二段的第一句话这个地方，他说 ，several companies have started feeding level leftovers to cockroaches。老师刚刚特别提到，第一个呢，在 started 这个后面呢，你可以使用 have started to feed， 也可以用 have started feeding。好，这两个都是可以使用的，这是第一个重点哦。再来这句话的第二重点就是 leftover。leftover 这个字呢，本身是这个指的是厨余或是隔夜的餐。在这里的话，如果当名词，一定要加 s， 所以在这里会说 leftovers。leftovers。好，这是两个主要重点。So I learned while preparing for this article that cockroaches love to eat potato leftovers. 哦、oh, ，所以老师在准备这个节目的时候呢，他刚好也去查了很多资料，就没有想到呢，他发觉到说，原来呀、啊，蟑螂非常非常喜欢吃这个马铃薯，而且是隔夜的马铃薯啊，他超爱吃。Oh, disgusting! Let's look at the next sentence. The food waste is sent. Ooh, underline that passive voice. Is sent through pipes to little houses where the cockroaches live. Okay, so 接下来我们看下一句话。他说 ，the food waste is sent. 老师这边特别请你们有没有把它画起来 ？Is be 动词 ，sent 过去分词。这边又是出现了一个这个被动语态了，对不对？这是我们第三个被动语态喽。他说 ，the food waste， 好，这些食物的这种残渣呢、厨余呢等等 ，is sent 被送往 through pipes to little houses where the cockroaches live， 被送往这些小小的这些昆虫、蟑螂他们所住的地方。所以说，我们把这些厨余经过处理加工之后送给他们，这样在在他的这个蟑螂。So,、uh, <laughs> when I see the word pipes, I think about Super Mario. Ah, <laughs> I don't want to think about Mario going into the pipe and falling like in cockroach houses. Oh wow! Okay, <laughs> so in this case, you see pipes, it refers to the water, right? Then, and 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 Live, please write Duan I because this is live, not live long I. This is not long I. This is Duan I. The she shall I. 嗯，没错，在这里的话，那个 where the cockroaches live， 你要特别标注一下 live 这个字的发音哦。它这个地方 I 的部分是 live 短母音的 i i live。Live, because many times this word has a pronunciation sound, like what live concert. That time will be live, but here it is used live, meaning the place of residence. After about six months, the cockroaches are turned into underline that passive voice are turned into protein-rich foods for excuse me food for pigs and other animals. Okay, 来接下来下一句话呢 After about six months, 也就是在差不多经过六个月之后呢，然后呢 ，the cockroaches are turned into. 有没有看到老师刚刚提说 underline that? 有没有 be turned into 就是指呢被变成变 If we turn something into something else, 就是把 a 变成 b， 对不对？所以在这里的话，这个呃 a 比较重要嘛，这个。这个受词比较重要。我们刚刚不是讲到说，被动语态里面，如果碰到受词比较重要的时候，我们怎么做？我们把它拉到主词的位置，然后用被动语态，这样它就可以强调它的重要性。所以在这里的话 ，the cockroaches， 好，这些蟑螂呢就被变成了 are turned into， 好
protein-rich food， 就变成一个富富含蛋白质的食物，给谁吃啊 ？For pigs and other animals， 给喂猪啦，来喂其他动物都是很好的这种这种喂食的东西。Now, when we say other animals, we also mean people because people eat the cockroaches. It's really gross. <laughs> okay, so when we talk about other animals, the teacher here adds in. So in this case, this other animals, other animals, also include people because people are also. 有些人哈，我也不知道是谁<笑>啊，他们还是会吃蟑螂的。所以在这里的话，除了喂猪之外，也可以拿来喂人吃。The last sentence in paragraph two says the cockroaches can also be used as fuzzy as materials for medicine and even beauty masks. Wow! So in here, the last news is that the cockroaches can also be used. This place is very important. This place is used. 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 面具，但是 beauty max 就是面膜的意思。我很好奇的是，面膜给人感觉都是应该要很高档，敷起来很舒服，那种心灵的爽感是很重要的。如果说今天你的女朋友知道说你帮她买的面膜是用蟑螂做的，我不晓得你们还会不会继续保持男女朋友的关系。<笑> let's take, let's stop here. All right, let's take a look at paragraph three. We're almost done, everyone. To handle the huge amount of food waste, a large number of cockroaches are needed. Underline that. That's another present passive voice. 没有错，所以在这里我们又碰到了一个，对不对？好，老师刚才提到说后面那个部分 ，a large numbers of cockroaches are needed. 如果看到 are needed 这个地方的话，就是指什么？就是指呃被动语态，或者是第五个被动语态了，对不对？好，在这边要特别注意一下。So handle the huge amount of food waste。这边特别注意一下前面这个地方哦，前面前半部的部分 ，huge amount。Of food waste, food waste, because this place is not allowed. So today we are talking about a large amount. This amount, we need to use the amount. If it is a large amount of people, you can say a large number of people. But you have to say a huge amount of garbage, a huge amount of food waste. Okay, here, when we talk about these things that are not allowed, when we talk about a large amount of food waste, we use amount. 那如果是可数的话，我们会用 number。所以为了要处理这些大量的垃圾呢 ，a large numbers of cockroaches。你有没有注意到 a large numbers？ 因为后面的 cockroaches 可数，所以在这里的话用 numbers 来表达，哎，就是一大群的这种蟑螂。好，要特别注意关于量这个字后面搭配的这种关系。好，呃，很多很多的蟑螂呢就会被需要，就是我们需要很多的蟑螂。Paragraph one, sentence two, also uses this grammar. In China, much of the food waste. We won't say many because food waste is bukashu. It's uncountable. 嗯，没错。所以在甚至在回到第一段那个地方的时候，你会看到 much of the 什么什么 much of the food waste. 它不会用 many， 会用 must。所以在可数不可数的搭配上面，好要特别注意这一块的环节。The next sentence says one company named Good Doctor. Has around, get ready, six billion cockroaches. That means they're the biggest cockroach farm in China. That means they're the biggest cockroach farm in the world. Six billion cockroaches. 我的天哪，吓死人了！好，所以在第三段，我们回来第三段的第二句话了。他就讲到说了 ，one company named Good Doctor. 好，在这里 name 的话指的是被取名为 Good Doctor 的一家公司呢。Has around six billion cockroaches. 有六十亿只蟑螂。哦，全球大概才多少？六六六十几亿，七十亿人口吧。但六十几亿蟑螂什么概念？很可怕，好多的数字啊！哈。This person is making a lot of money. Uh, so there are around one hundred cockroach farms in China, and the price of cockroaches has gone up a lot from around sixty NT. To over 600 NT for around 450 grams. Wow. 
。嗯，没错。哎，老师刚刚跟大家讲一下目前哦这些蟑螂的身价跟行情。那老师刚刚提到说，在中国差不多有一百一百家这种养蟑螂的这种农庄吧 ，I don't know， 我不知道这个叫什么蟑螂大军的这种农庄一百家。那其中呢，但是蟑你说这蟑螂好不好卖呀、啊？行情怎么样？老师刚刚给我们一个行情的数据。那目前呢，那种已经风干晒干的蟑螂呢，涨价了。好、哦，它现在的话呢，老师刚刚讲说大概四百五十克。可以卖到台币差不多六百块钱，好，就一磅卖六百块钱台币。所以说，今天如果你有六十亿蟑螂，你真的是赚翻了。<笑> But what if the cockroaches escape from their homes? 好，所以接下来我们看下一句话啦。他说：“哎，可是啊 ，But what if？” 他提到 “what if” 的时候，就是一个假设状况。那要是怎么样呢 ？The cockroaches escape from their homes。如果这些蟑螂。跑出了他们这个蟑螂养蟑螂这个农庄，跑出去了怎么办 ？Well, <laughs> to make sure that doesn't happen, good doctor has built a moat filled with water and fish. Okay, so in this case, you can see their solution. To make sure that doesn't happen, 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 to make To cross the moat, yeah, 哎，这个 idea 真的很棒。所以在这里的话，你要记得这个 moat 护城河的发音也好，或者是概念也好，你可以在这个字的上面写上一个 boat, b o a t， 你会记得 moat 跟 boat 声音是一样的。而且你要经过。这个护城河的话，你要跨过护城河，你需要一艘船，这样同时声音啊，还有意义啊，都帮你巩固到了。所以这个 boat 放在这个 moat 上面刚刚好。所以他就说了，他已经做了一个护城河，在护城河里面呢 ，filled with water and fish， 里面呢养了是有很多水嘛，护城河一定要有水，然后里面养了很多鱼。If the cockroaches try to cross the moat, they'll be eaten by the fish. Underline, they'll be eaten. That's the future passive voice. 嗯，没错。所以在这句话里面又出现了最后一个，好，我们看到的这个被动语态，而且这个是未来的被动未被动语态。好，所以在这边的话，你会看到他说 ，If the cockroaches try to cross the moat， 一旦他们想办法游泳渡河的话呢 ，they'll be eaten。好，所以这边的话，你看到 be eaten 一样也是被动语态。They will be eaten by the fish， 他们就会被鱼吃掉。OK， 所以在这里他们想到说，哦，有护城河嘛。如果说这些这些蟑螂大军想要游泳过河的话呢，鱼就把它吃掉，这样它也不会去骚扰到其他附近的民宅。But Anthony， what did you say？ What if？ What if？ I, they forgot one. They forget one thing. Actually， I think。Maybe they don't know that some cockroaches can fly. That's right. So, interestingly, the most popular cockroach at farms is the American cockroach, which makes me very proud to be an American. <laughs> American cockroaches can fly. Yeah, 没错，老师在这边提到说呢，其实。美洲的蟑螂哦，非常非常厉害，他们可以会会飞，所以呢，虽然他觉得身为美美国人，他感到非常的骄傲。只有我们家蟑螂会飞哦，谢谢各位。<笑> Let's finish this story, please. The last sentence: Do you think cockroaches are a good solution to the food waste problem? OK， 最后呢，文章里面他提到了一个问题，他就说，哎。想看看，听听看你的意见喽。他说 ，Do you think cockroaches are a good solution to the food waste problem? 这个地方呢 ，solution 我们刚刚是不是提过了 ？solution 就是解决办法的意思嘛。我们再次复习到了 a good solution 什么的 problem 介系词用 to 没有错。So do you think cockroaches are a good solution to the food waste problem? 到底呢？蟑螂是不是能够解决这种食物浪费的食物，能够把这些厨余清掉，是一个很好的办法。你认为呢？好，这个故事就结束了。Just before we go, in August 2013, one million cockroaches escaped from a farm in Jiangsu. Oh, one million! One million! 天哪，在江苏呢，他们有一个养蟑螂的这个这个呃农庄吧。然后呢，有有一百万只蟑螂呢，突然就这样啪跑出来了。Well, the farm was built in an apartment building,、mm-hmm. but the government knocked it over, 
So when a man, when the man came back to see his cockroach farm, his cockroaches were running everywhere in this neighborhood. What a pain! So, 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 Forty thousand NT dollars. Hmm. Okay. So, to the end, because his cockroaches ran out, he was too late. Right? Then, the government paid him this person about twenty-four thousand NT to pay for his cockroaches. Okay. We're done. For enjoy English school. We're done. I'm Chris Gorski. I'm Anthony. Bye bye. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Cockroaches to the rescue! Did you know that about one third of all food is thrown away? In China, much of the food waste is sent to landfills, but these garbage dumps are filling up fast. Thankfully, a little insect may be the answer to this big problem. Several companies have started feeding leftovers to cockroaches. The food waste is sent through pipes to little houses where the cockroaches live. After about six months, the cockroaches are turned into protein-rich food for pigs and other animals. The cockroaches can also be used as materials for medicine and even beauty masks. To handle the huge amount of food waste, a large number of cockroaches are needed. One company. Named Good Doctor has around six billion cockroaches, but what if the cockroaches escape from their homes? To make sure that doesn't happen, Good Doctor has built a moat filled with water and fish. If the cockroaches try to cross the moat, they'll be eaten by the fish. Do you think cockroaches are a good solution to the food waste problem?